Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Factorio. In the last episode, we worked on the catalytic process uh, processes of the plastic production here, taking our ethylene gas and carbon monoxide and purified water and turning it into propionic acid. And then we took our methanol gas and carbon monoxide and purified water and turned it into acetic acid acid so we have our propionic acid and acetic acid which this is going to need a pump and now we need to take the propionic and acetic acids and some cellulose fiber 160 per second wow okay and feed it into seven advanced chemical plants to make 400 per second liquid plastic. All right, so let's go ahead and work on that. The cellulose fiber is going to complicate things. And I'm going to need to give some room for that. So, let's go ahead and line up. I'm just going to line everything up on this same row here. And we're going to come up to there. All right, so it is this. This is the process we're using. All right, good. Okay, these little symbols are almost indistinguishable. Okay, so I think this top one is the propionic acid, and the other two are acetic acid. I think. Before I go much further, let me make sure. Well, first off, you guys are going to need some power. There we are, okay. Ah, that is, that's the acetic acid. Okay, propionic acids down here. All right. I misread that. Lined that up to the wrong, the wrong pipe, but I think that actually confirms my supposition here. That is the acetic acid, yes, okay.
And there we are. Yes. Okay, good. Oops. That is not where I wanted to put that. Okay, and then I'm going to have loaders coming in here. There we go. Okay. Now, 160 per second is going to require a minimum of three separate feeding lines to feed into these. Oh, hold on. Uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, speed modules in here before I forget. Oh, and there's one other thing that I want to hook up. The output. That was misplaced. There we go. There, and there, and then there, and then there. And then hook up the tank there. All right, good. So if I did three, three, I could do six. If I did four lines, I think it would probably be better. So four lines with three of them feeding two. And then the last line just feeding this one, I think is probably what we're going to go ahead and do. All right. And a bit of a ways to take these. Don't know why I'm having a difficult time lining these up. Okay, so... Oh, you don't have any power. Interesting. That can be resolved. go and then you come out there
And then this one's pretty straightforward. Just gonna feed directly in. There we go. And then that should be feeding pretty well into there. Very good. And now the whole system should be running. From beginning to end. Yuppers. All right. Now we just need six of these assembly machines. And then we'll use that plus a pump. Get the pump queued in there. To turn these into plastic bars. And what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to I should have it in here somewhere. There you are. Okay. Seems this is already set up for plastic bars. Well, how convenient. All right. And the rate at which we're producing plastic bars is 40 per second. Once we can get this in. All right, good. Okay, let's, let's space them out a little bit more. Oh. There we are, plastic bars. This is probably the simplest stage in the whole process. Uh, let's see, where is my little pipe? There it is. And they don't even need any um, any modules. All right, so is that where I want to put that? It works. It works. Oh, hold on. Caught that right in time. 
Okay, we need to have this split. So that we're balancing this out. So I'm not reliant on the balancing inserters. They're there just in case. Alright, there we are. We're going to call this plastic bars. Plastic bars. Alright, there we go. And now that whole process is done. And this is, I did set up the trains to feed our excess butane and methane into the other plastics process to make sure that that hopefully stays as uninterrupted as possible. Yep, the train is there right now. We've got stacking. That's all working. Excellent. Okay, so the next order of business, now that we're done this, the next order of business, um, oh, this is solar panels. Silver zinc batteries. Which we're making silver zinc batteries. And in fairly... Well, we can make them in fairly significant numbers. But... The problem with that is... That we're not feeding it enough. Or did I take care of that already? Do I have more than one train feeding those silver, silver zinc battery? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, once we put that under load, that is not going to suffice. Because um, it took a very long time to fill these things up. So I'm going to need another sodium hydroxide source specifically for the silver zinc. All right. Um, I need to... F that's something that I could probably take care of here. Um, just to make sure that that's ready to go. We can knock that out fairly quick. Uh, we have how many silver zinc batteries? How many per second are we making? One, two, three. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen factories producing silver zinc batteries makes 10.5 per second. Hmm. I wonder if I could ramp that up. Hmm. Zinc plate. And it's going to need plastic. Obviously. But it needs 21 per second sodium hydroxide. That's the important bit right now. That's the important bit right now. Um, sodium hydroxide. 
We make that by sodium gold cyanide, sodium silver cyanide. And we're going to have some sodium hydroxide as part of better gold and silver production. Okay. Sodium and purified water. But we can just take the saline water and directly split it. Um. Sodium hydroxide, sodium sulfate. No, no, we don't want to use that. All right, then. Okay. Uh, let's say we were to produce the saline water using these guys. We would need 14 of them. 5,200. No, 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 no. Four of them. Six of them? Six of them. All right. And four of those. Six of those? Seven of those. Hmm. Twenty one hundred. Seventeen, that's awkward numbers. All right. Let me pin it. And what I'll probably just do is Should I just route that in here directly? I could. We would need six lines of just raw water. Not hard. And I would just kind of do it over here, I guess, and then route the sodium hydroxide directly in to that silo. Should be fairly straightforward. All right, so I'm going to need, what, six of the salinization plants and then four electrolyzers. Convenient. All right. And we're going to need uh, six pumps. I probably should have done the pumps first. Oh. That is not what I want in there. Get rid of that. I'm just going to do it here. And let's tell our bots to clear some of this out. Just, just get rid of that.
Because it is just going to get in the way. Oh, there's a little tiny bit of water there. Oh, there they go. Is that using up all of our construction bots? No, there's still 200 of them that are not needed. So there's a problem. There, there they are. That's great. And what are you still doing in... Mm. Oops. That is not what I wanted to do. There we go. I've been trying to get rid of these old bots. Get them out of the system because they, uh, they kind of waste time. What is this? What are you doing here? Alright then. Let's see. Let's go... Oh, is there a little tiny piece of water right there? There it is. Ooh, okay, yeah, that's, that doesn't work. Now I can come out with the pipes like this. But yeah, we're gonna have to go... See, this is where we're going to want to start do working on it. All right. So here is our salinization plants. Gonna be making saline water. Uh, let's see, we're only using one raw speed module per one per. There we go.
Okay. Okay, there we are. And the last two. At some point, we're going to have to have an intermediate. But nope, that still reaches all the way. And last one. And we are producing how much? 2100? 2100 per second. All right then. And this is six. Oh, and uh, we're kind of at time, but let me at least get these going into some tanks. I'm going to be using the, the round, the spherical tanks, which I usually don't do for liquids, but eh, it still works. So this one and this one are going to go to that one. This one and this one are going to go to this one. And then this one and this one are going to go to this one. There you go. Alright, so we'll go ahead and stop here for now. I might finish this up off screen, just to get it all done. Um, and then we'll probably move on to setting up a new electronics facility for making modules. Every one thing we're going to be making. And also eventually the rocket control units. That's going to be another thing we're going to need. All right, so for now, I'm going to stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.